So usually it's pretty obvious when you dislocate your shoulder because you'll feel, you'll feel the ball coming out of the socket um, and it may stay out so uh, to the point where you really can't use the arm. And so it's usually pretty dramatic, but sometimes it'll come out and it'll pop right back in and it's not so obvious. Uh, but usually it's that sensation of the, the shoulder coming out uh, of the socket that's, that's pretty clear. So usually it's a traumatic event because it requires quite a bit of force for the shoulder to come out of the socket. A lot of times it's a contact sport like lacrosse or uh, playing softball and you land on the arm. Sometimes people will do it skiing or snowboarding. Um, and usually the arm is in a particular position, kind of up and out like this, and it'll come out the front of the, of the socket when that happens. So usually, usually one of those traumatic events. Try and get help as soon as you can. Sometimes the shoulder will pop out of the socket and then it'll slide back in on its own, but a lot of times it won't go back in on its own, and that's when you really need help. You need somebody to help you put the shoulder back in, in the socket, and that's best done by a professional. Sometimes it requires you to go to the hospital uh, to be sedated to put the shoulder in place, and sometimes it doesn't. And so it really just depends on the situation, but the best thing is just to get some professional help to get the shoulder back in place. It really depends on what happens at the time of the dislocation and other factors and, and things like uh, the type of sport that you play and how old you are, that can all play into whether surgery is required or not. Usually we'll start with an x-ray and that will see things like fractures where sometimes you can break off a little piece of bone from the shoulder when you dislocate the shoulder and also just to make sure that the shoulder is actually located after you've had a dislocation event. Then after that we'll frequently get an MRI and the MRI is going to see if there's any loose pieces of bone or anything inside the shoulder. It will also look for things like labral tears as well. But I think an MRI is really, really important because if you do have uh, those loose pieces of bone in the shoulder, it can help delineate who uh, does and does not need surgery. If you need to see a specialist because there's certain imaging to make sure uh, that the shoulder is actually located properly and to make sure that there's not pathology in the shoulder that can cause long-term problems. Uh, the other thing is is that sometimes if you have a dislocation event there's a high likelihood that you're going to have another one and so that's why you need to be seen so that we can help guide you throughout that process. So every patient that has a dislocation in the shoulder there is some risk that it can happen again. And whether it's going to happen again, it really depends on a, a variety of factors. It can be things like the pathology in the shoulder. So if you did break off a little bit of bone from the shoulder at the time that you had the dislocation of it, that can increase your risk. If you're a patient that uh, does contact sports um, so that you're getting hit frequently uh, in that sporting event, then that can increase your risk as well. What we have seen in our literature is that uh, younger patients are at a higher risk of dislocating than patients uh, that are older. So it depends on the dislocation, but many times you can. And it's just a matter of getting the shoulder relocated properly and getting the muscles strong around the shoulder again. And even if you're a patient that may need surgery for a shoulder dislocation, a lot of times we can delay that surgery until after the season, and it's safe to do so, and then you can have the surgery after the season uh, to go ahead and repair it. For the vast majority of patients that need surgery for a shoulder dislocation, we can do it arthroscopically. And that means that we'll make a couple poke holes around the shoulder and we can work with a camera inside the shoulder to repair everything to prevent a further dislocation event. Surgery is usually an outpatient procedure. You come in, uh, have the surgery, and then you leave the same day. It usually takes about a couple of hours or so to do the procedure. After surgery, I'll get you into physical therapy right away. So that way we can get your range of motion back as quickly as we can. Usually I'll see you in clinic about two weeks after surgery to take out your stitches uh, and then to answer any questions that you might have. Then I usually see you back at about six weeks. And by that time, I'm hoping that you have most of that range of motion back. Uh, and then I'll see you one more time, usually at about three months from surgery. And that's when we really start to allow you to return to your activities.